much. So here we are. It looks like the new team is XDs, and they are coming around from this top uh, entrance. I've never really seen a team flank from there, mostly because it... Oh my gosh, the entire team. The entire team is flanking around this side. This is fascinating. Never seen this happen before. But here they go. They are all up in this corner right here. And, I mean, it does kind of end them in the same spot. They are here. But look at how aggressively XDs is pushing in there. Uh, Lickitung able to defeat So-So. And both teams coming to a head right on the control point. Having to scoot backwards a little bit on the part of the offense. I see Crash going mad in there. Uh, wasting no time in uh, covering as much ground as possible, forcing those enemies backwards. Get out of my house. And the offense, I mean, that was a very aggressive offensive push. Don't, don't know if it worked that well, but it was certainly a nice try. Um, but they are going to, they're going to flank around the side right here. Use Reinhardt Shield. Oh, I do see there is a McCree on the field. Always love to see McCrees. Having some trouble hitting this Farah. Uh, she's flanking quite well. And it is high noon. Oh, there we go. One kill, one assist kill. And <laughs> just going to finish off Lickitung for the Halibut. And that is a pretty effective push, especially due to... Oh, we do have Crash. Where is he? Crash is not giving up without a fight. Uh, but looks like they are going to have to give up that control point unless Crash can do something pretty amazing that I don't normally see from Soldier 76. That is going to be a successful capture XD to push this payload uh, out and into the streets. Very good time. Six minutes left on the clock. They may have had a little bit of trouble pushing in there from the get-go, but it is definitely still working out for them. Uh, Ult advantage, both teams are about tied. I see that there are three ults ready on both teams. Uh, one support and two more offensive. Farah getting some work done far in the back corridor. Really, this payload is still moving forward. And there we go, we have a push by the defense. Uh, getting in there and, and punishing every member of the offense who is a little bit out of position. So-so uh, doing the same. Uh, with that attack, though, the Gujiro Sound Barrier going to give his team a chance to heal up. And here we go, McCree trying to get a couple couple bits of damage before they push out. His high noon is ready, and after the oh, there we go. And after the importance of his high noon in capturing that payload, or, or, or capturing that checkpoint, I'll be interested to see uh, what ends up happening uh, with this high noon. Looks like he might be flanking around, uh, possibly to try and use this ultimate as anybody else he does have the most interesting ultimate on the field uh, so with his team's support he might be pushing in there soon with the here we go it is high noon <laughs> he managed to get Lickitung but he had to kind of give up on a bunch of other hits due to the fact that he stopped looking at them uh, McCree's high noon only works if you're actually looking in your field of view and he looked up so he finished off Lickitung um, and they got a number of kills so the payload is still in territorial control of the offense uh, and that is an enraged Winston not interested wanting to get in there he's got one more target left he's looking for crash is crash gonna be able to get out alive no sir one last casualty to that Winston ult and that payload is going to move forward still six minutes this is blisteringly fast time if they're able to keep if they're able to keep it of this nature it'll be quite difficult for primal to to match that time they, they, they they've barely stopped pushing this payload and they have another ultimate ready on the point of so so if she can win this aerial battle she will have the skies but the other Pharah has a mercy so that is not going to happen and it's not going to matter. Here we go. Justice reading from above. Timing that with a Reinhardt ult. Oh, how devastating. Oh, that was so much damage. And they are going to push the card right in. That was that was so fast. Oh my gosh. I wasn't keeping track of the time. But they practically never stopped pushing that payload. Or capturing that checkpoint. Oh, man.
<laughs> that tag team ult was amazing. Reinhardt with Farah to just completely demolish the enemy. Lickitung was the only member of that team who had a real shot at escaping, but one Farah versus an entire team on the payload is not going to win. Uh, but we do get to see this round from the team's uh, other perspective. Primal is going to get a chance to push the cart. And XDs is going to get a chance to defend. But Forgive me, it's quite late in the time zone I'm in right now. And it is... Primal has their work cut out for them. If they're hoping to match uh, that time, very few failed pushes in any direction. The spectator cam is not able to push over objects in the universe. Makes me sad. Let's look at the team consistencies. Both teams having one member who hasn't chosen yet. Uh, never mind. So let's look at the offense. Upcoming, we have three tanks, two offense, and one healer. Wow. There is, uh, there's going to be a lot of health uh, for the defense to push through. That, that is a very aggressive build right there. Uh, Kifs is going to have her work cut out for her. There isn't even a Soldier 76 to provide backup healing. There is one healer. A few teammates who can heal themselves, uh, and then opposing them is a lot of healers. I see we have two support, uh, Soldier 76, and another offense, and two tanks. So it's cookie cutter with an emphasis on healing. Uh, so that is going to be interesting. I'm a little worried for Team Primal because of that. They're going to have um, a lot of... They're going to be a lot of regenerating health on the part of the defense. They even have Roadhog as the tank. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what happens. There are 12 seconds till the match starts. Primal choosing to go through this back door with uh, Reinhardt in the lead. Here we go. They are going around the back alley. Neither team interested in giving the opponent a free hit going through that door. Uh, Reinhardt going to shield his teammates. It looks like they are pushing in. Uh, they have to keep an eye on the time, certainly, but they don't need to worry at this moment. It did take the opposing team a little bit of time to get that real good successful push. And see anyone interesting most people are playing pretty normal classes, which means I can just kind of pick and choose who I want to spectate uh, Lick a tongue always a fun Farah to spectate getting those wrong long range hits direct hit on soldier 76 forcing him to push back He is very wounded, but he's going to drop that barrier and he's going to heal almost all of that right back Neither team really getting any any kills lick a tongue is down for the count. Uh, there's so much, so much healing happening on the part of the demon. Here we have an ultimate from Roadhog. It does look like they were able to push the defense back. There are a lot of defenders still alive. This is not a free capture, but they were able to get some solid time on that point. And a sound barrier for Lucio going to go out, and the defense is going to take that opportunity, and they're going to push the offense all the way back to spawn. And the offense is going to regroup. Heisen gets some uh, long-range, uh, bothersome spam onto the point. But there, there are a lot of ultimates on the field and ready right now. I see three for both teams. And here we go. The first one is going to go out. Soldier 76 has them in his sights. Not actually. Well, you know, I was going to say he wasn't going to get that much. And no, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to stick to that. Did not get that much. And uh, in stark contrast. Oh, uh, what happened right there? Good heavens, everyone's dead. Okay, so what appeared to happen there, Heisen, Heisen fired the uh, the Zarya ult, sucking everyone in, and then Lickitung plowed through them with her ultimate, and then Soso plowed through Zarya with the ultimate. I, You know, I think both teams did the exact same thing. Everybody got sucked in, everybody died to the Lickitungs. A few people managed to survive for the offense, so they're going to take that control point almost entirely, if not entirely. Uh, they were not able to get in there 
Uh, yes, so the defense was able to block that capture for a few more seconds, and I would be a little worried if I were the offense because of how long this is taking. I'm pretty sure the payload the payload part was active faster than that, though I think that massive double sweep is partially responsible for that. And uh, I can see that they are pushing the defense back. They want this payload to keep moving as fast as possible. A lot of fire happening on the point of the offense. I see that four of their six teammates are on fire. Defense mostly hanging back. Thrakon more than content to let them do so. Uh, Gojiro is going to be pushing the point with his team. I focused on him only because he has an ult ready. And I just see that there's a little bit little bit of resistance over here and oh we have a lot of ultimates ready on the part of the defense and the offense oh my gosh they're going to be a lot of ultimates coming out right now justice going to rain from above temporarily no real kills Tillin Tillin kind of saw that coming uh, he did not even pop his ult to do that. He just kind of finished off Lickitung before Lickitung could get any damage. And here we go, Zarya going to pop her ult on the offensive side, but no one was really there to capitalize on it due to Lickitung being dead. And that, wow, uh, that is a lot of damage from Soso. I should really start spectating Soso because that's like the third time that he just plowed through an entire team with one of his ultimates. Uh, Soldier 76 did activate his tactical visor in there uh, got a bit of work done with it but not that much uh, but it doesn't matter they're on the defense their job is just to keep this payload uh, stalled as long as possible and they are more than doing that um, the payload is down to three minutes and 40 seconds don't think uh, primal is going to match the, t the the blistering time that xds was able to make getting through this map but they certainly still have time to win the map uh, on on their own uh, 3 minutes and 25 seconds, more than enough time to push the payload, uh, what little time is left. So, so, so far, doing a very good job hanging back and just spamming those rockets without dying. Uh, though, as I said that, so, so does die. Uh, I think the offense kind of took the defense by surprise there, because both teams are kind of fighting to a standstill. But then the offense just kind of got a couple of choice kills and are pushing forward. There's two more. Tillin and Vileas are both down, and that payload is going to move forward once they push Lucio off. And they're going to flank Lucio and see if he can get out alive. And did he? Yes, he did. Man Vespio manages to make it back to his team, uh, but his team has been pushed back uh, very hard, and a bunch of players are on that payload and moving forward. Uh, I see that Crash uh, is ready and is going to push in with the help of the sound barrier and just get so many kills. Oh, what a great ultimate. Uh, timed with Gojira. Those two just uh, wiping the entire team. All six of them dead. R.I.P. Uh, Come back, come back next time. And that is the payload. On to the next checkpoint. Four minutes and 15 seconds. And now they're making that time. And they are remembering to keep somebody on the card. He's going to keep moving forward. The defense is respawned in their entirety right now. Hanging back on the control point mostly. Uh, but they are making, making distance right through. Uh, lots of healers on both sides. I see that that whole people not having healers didn't last and oh Why don't I keep spectating so so I need to I need to get at least one so so ultimate before this game is over I feel so bad at how many of them I've missed I've been doing far better at catching lick tongues that that was a lot of damage down uh, Very quickly and very rapidly and so that is going to be the checkpoint and that was another wipe uh the defense down a second time <laughs> I mean they're, they're lucky that the and there we go so so yeah. So so switched to tracer for a split second and then back all that did was wipe her ult percentage She was uh, 30 percent there uh, But doesn't need ult to plow through and deal a bunch of damage to the opposing team uh, Has done a very good job. I would be very surprised if they did not get player of the game some way shape or form and it, You know so so is doing such a good job of landing those rockets and and building that ultimate very quickly other members of the team are also likewise doing a good job of killing people but i think that that is going to be game there's a couple defenders trying to block the point uh now there's tillin trying to drop the point and that is going to be game primal able to push through and capture the checkpoint uh not sure if they were able to match primal's time but winning uh the map is always good Never die.
That was that Mercy Old bringing a bunch of teammates back from Soso, who just kind of plowed through. And you see that Soso had 77 rocket direct hits. That is very good accuracy on the part of Soso. And that is going to be King's Row, if I'm not mistaken. Both teams played. We're going to get to see them pick another map, I presume. Looking forward to it. I swear to God, this time I'm going to remember to use the timer. Uh, I'm sick of having to guess which team was faster, and I really want to be watching with my timer. So I'm going to stare at this phone in my hand so that my brain gets distracted and then thinks, why is this phone in my hand? Oh, that's why, the timer, until the timer is actually happening. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Ooh, is that a Zenyatta? I love seeing, I love seeing competitive Zenyattas. They're, they're so fascinating because they just deal so much damage while being a support class. They just, they're kind of, I don't know. There's something really cool about Zenyatta. They're a very versatile but underused class. I actually see some pretty interesting choices uh, on all fronts for the point of Team XDs. I also see a Genji in there. Uh, so I'm going to probably stick with the offense for the time being. Oh no, I want to watch Zinya. I want to watch uh, Symmetra and see where she puts her little turret thingies. Uh, so let's let's look let's let's look through the teams for the time being. Primal is on defense. I see that they're going for two offense, two tank, two support. Uh, one of those defenders being Soldier 76. So there's going to be some decent healing coming down. <laughs> and they are just throwing caution to the wind. Why? I mean, why not? Uh, other than the fact that it's kind of rare for anybody to just walk right through the front door. I almost always see uh, teams go through either the left or the right corridor. Uh, possibly for reasons like that. But let's see. It looks like these guys are more than happy to just jump right through the front doors. So a lot of free damage going to go down for... Uh, Gujiro manages to build himself up to 20% uber, so he's going to be able to get, or 20% ult. I uh, used to play TF2, so he's going to be able to get uh, that teleporter up relatively soon, and without it, the defense is doing a pretty good job of pushing forward. That was a very aggressive push in there by XD. I can tell that this team is very, very aggressive, but not, not, not much success uh, despite the aggression. And here we do have Zenyatta, who I'm going to spectate because he's so cool. And there we go, getting, getting, getting some work done on the Roadhog. Very little, though, uh, especially due to the uh, Symmetra 25 HP shield. Though he's the only one that got one. Oh, uh, Thracon has one. And here we go, going to be pushing in to the control point. Just a few of... Where's the others? Oh, there they are. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them in the back. Yikes. Was Gujiro? Gujiro does not have the teleporter up. All of these kills are going to stay that way. Uh, but luckily, there aren't that many. The offense is mostly destroyed. Was that the teleporter? No, <laughs> that was not a successful teleporter at all. I don't think a single teleport got through. Crash might have gotten through because he doesn't look like a Symmetra and he came running from the back. So I guess, I guess it wasn't a completely failed teleporter. 
but probably was hoping for a little more than that. Yell Vellers back in as Zenyatta. I also see a Genji who's very close to having ultimate. A lot of people on this map very close to having ultimate. Uh, Soso has ultimate, and I'm going to keep an eye on Soso because Soso did a very good job last game getting it. I mean, for a couple opportunities, they just completely plowed through a bunch of defenders. And if they can, no. I wasn't sure if there was an ultimate happening right there, but there definitely could have been. Uh, even with Zenyatta's help, able to focus fire uh, the, those opponents down, but at the cost of every single member of that offensive push except... Uh, oh no, Soso -so went down too. She's just respawned already. Uh, very good ultimate on the part of Lickitung. And that is almost an entire respawn for XDs who has busted out uh, Tillin is now a McCree. Always fun to see McCrees in competitive. Looks like he's using the gambling skin, my personal favorite skin for McCree. She kind of gets some work done on that Reinhardt shield. And where is Soso? Soso is sticking with the team for the time being, uh, trying to duel that other Pharah. Probably wants to get that other Pharah out of the sky uh, before she's going to use her ultimate on the control point and uh, looks like the uh, team is choosing to go through this little alleyway and then is choosing to go right back again. Uh, Gojiro giving up on Symmetra, no teleporters, just going to have uh, Dem Lucio heals and that is certainly a tried and true and completely lacking in risk choice uh, just giving everybody all the heals all the time. Um, and Zenyatta is over. Uh, speaking of giving up on risky choices, Vellers has moved over to Mercy so that they have some respawns happening whenever they need it. And let's see, I see that Thundercats has her ultimate ready. That could be pretty devastating if uh, Soso and Thundercats manage to time those two ultimates together, uh, especially because they have the ult advantage, but that doesn't mean much when all the players on the map uh, except Thracon and 4% away for Tillin have ultimate and I'm oh lick a tongue with a choice kill do not want uh, not want so so doing the rocket barrage and that rocket barrage was successful but almost entirely countered by the mercy ult though Kiffs is on mercy and will be able to give one of her own so so going to swoop in there not get uh, got okay a few her teammates got a few kills off of it and there we go the Zenyatta ult pinning the opposing team and was able to finish off Kiffs. Uh, there will be no more healing from the Mercy, though Gujiro is still in and down. Uh, and that looks like that is only Lickitung staying alive for the time being at a whopping 6 HP. And that's going to be a lot of time on the clock. Uh, will it be enough time to capture before the defense respawns? Uh, we shall see. Looks like it. They are choosing to push a bunch of their teammates forward and just kind of distract the enemy long enough for that payload to go into action so we do have we do have it happening right now the payload is moving forward and we've progressed that was fast wasn't as fast as their per performance in King's Row I think both teams tried a couple of experimental things that didn't work out I'm not sure if Primal uh, was pleased with their lack of Symmetra play because I've seen them hold that control point a lot longer than they uh, held it right there and I think the major difference was the lack of a teleporter. Don't don't know if McCree meant to fall off the roof there because he was looking for a bead on Farah's head, and he is pushing in there. And oh my gosh, just as I just as I, I click off of him, he goes high noon. But it was mostly countered by Reinhardt. Uh, but the defense is pushed pretty far back, and the payload is is happily cruising through the western area and right into an earth shake, into an earth bash, whatever they're called, by Thracon. Uh, a lot of a lot of teammates from both members up even more now that Vellers the Mercy has brought a bunch of teammates back to life. Does anybody f interesting have Uber? Not really. Uh, also known as Ultimate, if you are playing Overwatch and not TF2. The payload is going to continue moving forward, but not without a fight. There are a bunch of teammates on it at the moment, and there's going to be a sound barrier, and Lickitung is going to rain justice from above, assisted by that sound boost to keep herself alive during that vulnerable phase. And I don't think Tillin's getting out of this one alive, uh, despite his gambler skin. He 
rolled snake eyes, and they are going to be pushed back very hard. Did was that a Zenyatta ult? That was, that was no, or a, or a Zarya ult. It was not. Thundercats does have her ult still and is ready to fire it. She has one upgrade due to the amount of damage she has blocked with her shield. One of the funnest parts of Zenyatta, getting to deal more damage uh, when people shoot your shields. So she's going to push in there. I get the feeling we're going to see an ultimate. Yeah, there we go. Uh, pushing that ultimate in there, is there anyone to really capitalize on it? No ultimates to capitalize on it, just a bunch of damage uh, from random teammates. I think all four of her teammates, uh, not counting the sixth one, whoever that was. It looked like there was one kill for each player is the bizarre thing I'm trying to go for with that. And who's got what? McCree does have his ultimate prepared, getting some nice headshots on that ulting Winston. He had, uh... Oh dear, manages to start off uh, the road of damaging that Reinhardt and actually manages to get through with his life. Uh, nice job until now. Um, uh, is, is dead, but we are going to keep people on that payload. They're not interested in letting that payload scoot backwards, but the defense is equally interested in not letting it scoot forwards. The payload is locked in place. And uh, the defense definitely has the advantage right now. I, I wonder if uh, Vespio is going to be able to, or Vespilo is going to be able to get out of this alive. Uh, he is, and he's going to be able to regroup with his team. Everybody is alive and on the field right now. And oh, the the ult advantage is so heavily in XD's court, but they better start using it. There's only nine seconds left on the clock, and that payload is not going anywhere. Uh, so many defenders on it at the moment. Theo Turtle pushing in. Uh, the Odd Turtle pushing in. Uh, oh my gosh, so many ultimates going out. Crash getting some damage. Uh, Zarya giving her team a bunch of free hits. Not enough. Lickitung going to uh, rain justice kind of from below, all things considered. And who still has all my see it? Crash still has his tactical visor up. Uh, and is not able to use it, but it is enough to keep that cart from reaching the first checkpoint. That is going to be game in favor of Team Primal. Good ultimate right there. Zarya ultimates are pretty amazing things. Crash did a pretty great job, not gonna lie. So not surprised he's getting all those hits at the end. And we're going to switch teams. It is now Primal's turn to try to capture the control point and push the, con push the cart. And it is XD's turn on defense. And here we go. I do see that the offensive team has most of their choices picked already, though uh, one of them did just switch back to unknown. So what do I know? Uh, but they do have Lickitung is remaining on Farah. Uh, very popular class for Lickitung. Kif switching over to Lucio. Crash is going on Reaper. Gujiro is on Winston, and Hi or yeah, and Heisen is on. Hmm. <laughs> they're not sure what they're playing at. So let's look at the other team. The other team, Soso -so is remaining on Farah. Thundercats is Reinhardt. Vespio remains on Lucio. Vellers is Mercy. Tillin has moved over to Reaper. Uh, so if Odd Turtle stays on Winston, then it will be Tillin is the one that really is switching his class around. And I see him doing a lot of that. I've seen him play a number of different classes. The Odd Turtle is going in as a Roadhog. Uh, once again, no Symmetra. Uh, Symmetra is really quite powerful on this Hollywood map. Uh, she did not work very well against XD's run, probably why they're not bothering to use her. And I don't think there's anything like a sentry uh, for me to follow and see where it sets up. Uh, mainly just going both teams pretty patiently waiting for 13 seconds to go by. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to track the time with my timer. I should be doing this every game. I keep forgetting. And there's no reason to because I didn't track the previous one. But I'm just going to do it so that I could get uh, in the habit of doing so. And here we go. The match is started. 
XD's mostly giving up the first street, saying, here, just come to the control point and fight us there, uh, and, we, and we'll beat you. And they are going, 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 I want to see So-So. I need to do a better job of, of, of specking So-So, because they've had some pretty good, uh, massive ultimates. Uh, whenever they do have their ultimate ready, they're very good at landing those direct hit rockets, which gives them a lot of ult charge very quickly. Uh, looking at the rest of the map, nobody in particular has anything super special ready. Kiffs does have her ultimate prepared, and I see that Thundercats is ready to bust out an Earthquake, uh, or an Earth Shaker, or whatever it's called. Uh, I need to actually look that up. I call it an Earthshake, and then people make fun of me because it's apparently not called that. Thracon is down. A lot of members of the defense are down. Uh, this is not looking good for the defensive push, and due to the lack of a Symmetra and the lack of a Veller's ult, uh, they're not going to be able to bring those teammates back to life. Uh, the Th Veller's is alive, but choosing to cut her losses and wait patiently. This is almost certainly going to be a capture for the offense. You're going to have to move forward to the payload section of this map. Blisteringly fast time, to be honest. That was only 1 minute and 14 seconds. And I can tell you that because of my timer. Good job. And that is Mercy going down after a pretty clutch revive. I don't know if that revive is going to get much work done. Yeah, they just plowed through those revive teammates. Uh, might have wanted to just hold on to it. Those teammates didn't get to do enough to justify burning your ultimate on them. Though Vellers, as Mercy, is going to get another ult within like a minute. So-so. Uh, prepared with her ult, not prepared positionally. A uh, lot, of, lot of teammates who have spotted her out and want to make sure that she doesn't get anything too fancy going on. But here we go, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Either way, finishing off Kiffs. Who needs ult? <laughs> uh, finishing off Lickitung and being finished off in herself by Crash and you know that was a wow so what happened was very good push by the offense pretty much finishing off all the defense but nobody really was on the cart uh, so the cart there I did see somebody on the cart the cart wasn't standing still so no fault no foul but I don't think they're going to be able to reach the next checkpoint before the offense or before the defense uh, manages to respawn and try to put some uh, put some more time on the clock and here we go the first push coming out a lot of ultimates ready however on the point of the uh, of the offense heroes never die kiff just brought some teammates back to life uh, and Vellers is dead so anybody any anybody down is gonna stay that way until mercy can manage to get on the field and there's there's Tillin down and that is the checkpoint uh, very very fast uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the speed with which that that car is pushing forward I mean they're just remembering to keep that cart moving is what's going on uh, Gojiro and Thrakon trying to trying to force the defensive team back doing an admirable job of it that payload is just gonna just gonna keep rolling uh, the defense probably looking to get something something happening and here we go. Soldier 76 with a prepared ultimate is going to finish off Gajiro. I'm interested to see if he tries anything silly with that ult. Because um, he's a he's a pretty versatile fighter uh, on his own. But with that tactical visor, he can be pretty horrifying. And he's already finished off two teammates. Uh, there is a sound barrier that he is going to activate uh, and get some assistance from. He himself is not sound barriered, but he's going to get a bunch of kills off of it. Not not able to kill Mercy quick enough. Uh, she is able to bring a bunch of teammates back to life, and this time those teammates are able to stay alive long enough to uh, be and make themselves useful. Uh, Ligaton getting some damage in there, but not dying in that cart. He's going to continue rolling in. The defending Mercy bringing Thundercats back to life, who, as Reinhardt, is an invaluable member of the defense. Right now, that cart is going to go, is going to grind to a halt, and the defense is going to press their advantage. They do not want that cart to move uh, at all, uh, and then they're going to push back. I guess they changed their mind because uh, the offense was not even spawned yet when they decided to rush in there. And so does anybody interesting have their ultimates prepared? I see a couple ultimates uh, here, there, and everywhere. And more fighting happening around the cart. Cart inching forward every so often. Thundercats for the most part blocking it, but every time he takes a step backwards... And who was that? That was Crash. I'm not going to be able to get there in time, but that was a very good ultimate on Crash's part. And, oh my gosh, he managed to finish off four different members of the opposing team. And that and that and that is just going to be an, an effortless push in. They're probably, I don't know, they might be able to get there in time. They might not. 
uh, crash uh, continuing to lay down the damage. We do have the Zarya ultimate uh, on the cart, so they can technically push the cart while that was happening. And another wipe. They're just they're just plowing through the defense. No, no, no cares. No, none at all. Uh, not even Vespio. Arrivederci. And that is it. They were able to push that cart in. Uh, that was five minutes and twenty seconds. So a very good run. Don't have anything to compare it to, but. As I remember to use my timer, I will have things to say in future shoutcasts. It's always kind of funny when you see a Mercy ult that starts with her just patiently waiting for everyone to die. It makes sense. Like, it makes sense for Mercy to do that, but it's just kind of funny. She's supposed to be this kind-hearted healer, and she's just sadistically waiting for all of her teammates to get massacred. That is Hollywood. Uh, I'm interested to see if XD and Primal decide to play another game. If they do, I will be here to shoutcast it. does look like our next map is going to be Li Zhang Tower, very popular King of the Hill map. Uh, I was glad to see him mention Helios in there. If, if competitive Overwatch could decide to play Helios more often, I'm certainly not going to complain. That's one of my favorite maps in the entire game. Uh, but I, I, I just noticed that for, for a while now it hasn't seen that much play. But uh, people are growing more favorable to it as time goes by. We are with XDs at the moment, but let's actually look through uh, Primal's roster since they have more characters chosen, uh, also known as all six of them. Lickitung is remaining on Farah. Heisen is going with Zarya. Um, actually, let's, let's just do this quickly. Two tanks, two offense, two support, and the opposing team, the one that I'm spectating, is going for two support, two offense, and two tanks. Uh, almost identical rosters. I think uh, one team has a Reaper and one team has a Soldier 76 uh, is the only possible difference uh, between these two setups. And here we go. Teams are going to push in. Uh, neither team really getting on that control point. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not capturable uh, when I started talking. It is now, though. Um, looks like Gojiro's team, Primal, was faster at getting onto that control point. I noticed that that is a strategy. They tend to run a lot. They just really want somebody... They want to capture that control point first. Because uh, there is a huge advantage to being that team. Though they were not able to hold it for very long. Uh, largely due to a couple clutch uh, choice kills by Soso. XDs was able to get in there and capture that control point. So the time is clocking out on them. Teams are tied at 12%. Uh, but the advantage is certainly to whoever owns the control point at any given time. Uh, firing at Will Soso already having her ultimate prepared. Kind of surprising. She might be counter-ulting if she can... There we go. Justice is going to rain from above, but it's not going to do that much. And she's going to lose all her ultimate uh, in that failed ult. Very sad. And we have a bunch of ultimates ready on the opposing team. Uh, four of them to be exact though there are three on the other team so I think we're going to be seeing a lot of ults uh, very very soon and there goes the first one Gajiro jumping in as an enraged melee Winston with 55 HP <laughs> um, he's doing a decent job I'm, you know I'm, I'm pretty surprised at how long he stayed alive at 55 HP and Tillin getting some kills despite not even activating uh, the tactical visor he still is just nursing that 
Um, a revive coming out. And here we go, the tactical visor. Mostly getting countered by that Zarya shield bubble. Pretty much did nothing but boost Heisen's uh, Zenyatta. Or, or, wow, she's made it to level 2. She's dealing a bunch of damage with these grenades. And you can tell uh, based on how much damage is just being let out from that. And that was an ultimate being let out from... Uh, yeah, no, no, that wasn't Heisen. Yeah, that was Theod Turtle, and I don't think it worked very well. Uh, I'm seeing that kill feed. I'm seeing most of the kills uh, being for the point of view of Primal, who also has retaken the point and is at 87%. This match is almost over. Uh, XD is going to need to get in there and capture that control point, and they definitely have the means and the opportunities to do so. I see a couple of different, uh, couple of different ultimates ready for them, and here's a big one. Finishing off Lickitung, uh, and that's it. Uh, probably assisted on that kill with Heisen, and there we go. Uh, mopping up one more kill after the fact, but we are into overtime. They need to capture this control point point, hold it for an extremely long time, and it's certainly possible uh, because, I mean, as, as we saw, um, that's, that's pretty much what happened here with Primal. They captured the control point and held it all the way to 99%. So XDs is going to have to replicate that feat. And here we go, so so trying to push in there with those devastating rockets and a Thundercats ult to boot. Uh, might might have I, I think Thundercats' ult was pushing people back a little too much. He wasn't able to really get a lot of damage. And I see that Kiffs has moved in there. We got a lot of health on the part of Primal and both teams. To be quite honest, there is a bunch of health floating and a bunch of health and healing po uh, opportunities on the map at the moment. So, so getting her ultimate again very quickly, uh, but not able to get it off in time before her untimely death. Yellers in no, or Vellers in no position to bring her back to life. And that is the capture. We're back into overtime and I don't see anybody on red even uh, near the point. And that's going to be round one going to primal. So I'm interested in seeing if hmm. yeah. it's very late where I am. Uh, so that that that's why that was. I'm not even sure if you can hear uh, when I yawn. This pop filter is pretty impressive at at hiding dumb noises like that. Uh, so I'm interested to see if XD decides to change uh, their their strategy a little bit. I see they're not changing their loadout or, or their their class consistencies. Everybody is staying the same class. Uh, though I don't know how long Tillin has been playing Reaper. Um, I know he started the game as Soldier 76. And uh, some interesting choices on the other side. I see that there is a Tracer being played by Crash who is just getting in there and dying for her efforts, but it is going to give her team advantage of the, of the control point. And in one second, they're going to be able to start getting some capture time on there. I see nobody on red team even remotely in a position to stop this capture. And another crucial capture by Primal. Really, the biggest advantage they have is that they're getting on the point. Uh, Primal is, or not Primal, Primal's doing it. XDs is is not showing enough aggression getting onto that control point. They're showing their deathmatch capabilities uh, through all the kills that they keep getting, and both teams are really, really rather even. Uh, Primal is just showing better positioning on the point, and that is a revive from Mercy, really only giving her team a chance to retreat. So I don't, I don't know if that was horribly successful, because they would have gotten that for free if they just died, and half of them died anyway. So, Thundercats being a little cheeky with that heal, but not going to be able to do much with it. And here we do. Soso -So does have her ultimate prepared, and it is always fun to watch Soso, -So, especially a damage-boosted Soso. -So. Looks like XDs is mostly flanking around the side here. Don't know if Primal has noticed yet. They've noticed. There we go. Uh, Gojiro probably overextending a little bit, or just not expecting some some very close range pharaoh crit boosted rockets just come in and here we go justice going to rain from above eliminating three teammates and finishing off the last one that's going to be probably a full capture i'm personally quite glad that i finally managed to grab a really good so-so uh, ultimate because so-so is very good at saving it for the perfect moment My ultimate is almost ready. 
Uh, speaking of cool, exciting ultimates, Thracon's Reaper has his prepared and is going to push in there soon. Tracer uh, resting in pieces, and we do have a Death Flower. You know, that, that, that Zarya ult might have actually helped a little bit because it sucked him into the control point where he could hit more people. Uh, but for the most part, that was a net positive for XDs who got a couple of kills with a Tillin uh, Lotus of Death. Uh, no ultimates prepared for anyone. Closest would be Kiffs. I see that only one team has a Mercy, so only one team's going to be reviving uh, during these critical pushes. And they're going to push in mostly together, as is common when you have an, a Lucio ready to push the sound barrier. It's going to bring a bunch of teammates uh, up to a very high HP volume, and they're just going to push in there. I saw that after sound boosting his teammates, he speed boosted them. Letting these very high health teammates just, just zip in there. And they're going to get some capture time on the point and retake the point. They weren't even losing. They were at 60-something percent. Now they're at 70. Uh, there are no reds anywhere near the control points. They're almost certainly going to get more time. So-so already with another ult prepared. Oh, uh, Very amazing how quickly. I guess that's what happens when you can just keep landing those Pharah rockets to the extent that uh, she can. And I don't, like, one thing, I think I should note something about pronouns. I have no idea what gender every player is, so I tend to just kind of go based off of the character gender. Uh, which is why Mercy's and Pharah's are usually she. And with that disclaimer out of the way, we are going to see uh, she bring her back to life as she falls to her death. And Team 1, which is Primal, is going to shut out two matches out of three, and that is game. Pretty impressive that that was play of the game, considering that uh, I had actually been spectating her for that, and right before that was an ultimate, where So-So managed to get a number of kills in that way as well. So that is going to be it for this matchup against XDs. Yeah, I mean, if I had to sum that match up, it was both teams very well matched. Both teams getting a bunch of kills, but only one team was really getting on the point. Uh, in both of the two maps, uh, Primal just jumped right in there. Just be like, that point is ours. And then they took it, and then they managed to get such an advantage just for that reason. All right, looks like we are done, As uh, which makes me very sad. I thought we were about to play Numbani, uh, but okay, there we go. I don't want to be the owner of the game. Are you kidding me? Forty-five seconds. Uh-oh. What's going on here? I'm win or lose. Hello. 